want to see any like terms. Yeah, the ones go away. That's it. Cool. So then I can integrate. Pi. How do you integrate this bad boy here? Yeah, it'll yeah, so it'll be three halves, two thirds, so it'll be four thirds y to the three halves. Is that cool? Because you can multiply by two thirds. Two thirds times two. What's that? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, I just All right. Uh, plus y squared over two minus y squared over five. You gotta love those, right? When they're just exponents of powers, bam. Um, yeah. Two thirds y cubed. Oops, sorry. No. Yeah, we just now integrated. So remember that pulls that guy in there, and now it's gone. Yeah. Zero to one. And this is polynomial, so that's nice. So it turns out this method was better, right? Sometimes you'll just choose the wrong one, but don't just do it. Just keep going. Uh, so now it's all about, let's see if we get the same answer. Uh, just plug a one in, and it's just four thirds plus one half minus one fifth minus two thirds. So somebody help me out. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Hope to God. It would be nice if it was. See, two thirds plus two thirds plus one half, seven sixths minus one fifth, thirty-five minus six twenty-nine thirtieths. Yes. Yay! So I, I, we mentioned the other day that there are a whole class, all kinds of functions that will work either way. So I wanted to show you at least one. That's why I put that bad boy in this picture. Uh, and actually, both ways were completely doable with what we know about calculus in this class. But sometimes you'll set one up like we did earlier with the x, l, and x, and you know immediately you just don't go that way. Like, you can't go that way. So then you back up and you go the other way. Cool. I like it, baby. And that's beautiful when you know for sure the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Bless you. All right, so... Uh, let me let you guys try this and I have to apologize for my printer but it does not want to print out complete pictures of the graphs on here but we'll see what I mean